Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can automate MS Word to add numbers. This is an inherent feature in all MS Word versions. I've personally tested this on MS Word 2003 and above. Uh, I will in a few moments demonstrate this on MS Word for Mac version 2011. The best part of this feature is you don't need to add an Excel table. Uh, which basically just uh, blows the file size and uh, makes the system slow. Uh, especially if you just intend to add numbers, it does not require you to add a large micro uh, or a macro for that matter or do any additional programming. Um, why would you require this? Um, I'm sure there are many of uh, you out there that just use this as an addition feature or I primarily use this for uh, customized product or service course and you just update the numbers and update the fields and you're good to go. Um, most important of all you don't have to recheck manually uh, the numbers or the quotations. So uh, without further ado let's let's go to the word and let's see how we can do this. So the first thing you need to do is to add a table uh, as I've done this, we, we can do this from tables and new and you just go and add. This is just your regular MS Word table, nothing fancy, simple Word table. Okay, so once you've done this, add these two. Uh, you need to add something called, which is a formula in, in this cell right here. So if I were to add, if I were to want Word to calculate the quantity or, or the total price, I basically would click here, have go to the tools uh, tab here, and you will have something which is called and oops, sorry, the table tab, correct me, um, beg your pardon, uh, and go to the formula. When I go to the formula, it, you see there is a something called uh, formula equals sum left. Now I don't want a sum, I want a, a multiplication. Now, if I were to say um, multiply left, it, it doesn't work that way. It basically uses something which is called, if you're familiar with Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel, it will use that principle. All right, so before well, we just quickly do a uh, add formula to this, and I will go to table and go to formula. And as you can see, I don't have any word here, uh, I don't have any formula here, so I'll put in a formula and I'll say to him, okay, equals, um, uh, it's supposed to equal a, uh, a convention, which is called, I, I, it's a personal thing, I don't think anybody knows about it, so I call it, personally call it card convention. And to explain that, I have, you know, written down a table called, um, a car basically means columns, and rows. So, um, so if you have, for example, if you look at the first cell here, the first letter, which is A, will tell you the column. All right. So these are all. This is A column, B column, C column, D column. The one, the second letter, basically tells you, or the number basically tells you about the row. So this is the first row, the second row, and third row. So, so in order for me to do multiplication on a cell which is the E2 cell, I need to equate it to D2, which is the cell here, times C2. This should give me a, a, a multiplication in E2. So what I need to do is, I need to go to E2, which is here, and I need to sell it to multiply it by D2 times C2. So if I go here and go in the table and put in a formula, I said E2 times D2. So let's take it out. E2, oh, sorry, uh, C2 times D2. All right, and I put, and you can always put a number format. I personally choose this one because it gives you sense as well. So just do this, and voila, there you go. You have 40 there. Now, I can copy and paste this here, but that won't really do work because it's not as smart as you want it to be. So, what you need to do is you need to do the same thing on the second cell and the third cell. And the fourth cell. Let me do another. Let me do this on the second line item, which is uh, socks, and hopefully we can then see a total here. So this third one says E3 equals D3 times C3. Let me do it quickly. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So C3 
times dt and do the same sum of format again. Okie dokie. And I did some shock. <laughs> Let me do it again. Let me see what I did wrong. And if you, if you want to see what you did wrong, you can just update the field and see what you did. And for toggle field codes, and uh, yep, I have nothing wrong here. So should I say, oops, I should be D3. 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 Field and voila, there you go. Now the final one is, um, I believe this is A, B, C, D, E, E, uh, and this is uh, one, two, three. Okay, just um, starting where you left off. So we're gonna add E2 plus E3 plus E4, and this should give us the total. And there you go, voila. Uh, yep. 40 plus 20 60 plus 40 is 100 so we're right on the mark thank you for watching my video um, like it comment it and I will uh, hopefully see you in the next video thank you